power of the cursed belongs to the cursed. I like it already. Six grams of death root, two drops of moonshine. Need something, matey? So how did you become the Marley's ship doctor? You could say I grew... Straight to the point. <laughs> ah, let's stretch those roots. What can I do you for? There you are, finally. Took you long enough. Ugh, why did I come here again? For the checkup, of course. All right, let's have a look at you. Sit. Oh, sure. Hmm. Is that a good or a bad? Hmm. Sword through the chest, going towards purple on the soul spectrum. That wound in your chest. Let me touch your arm for a second. Oh. Your body is weird. You're phasing in and out of reality. That is how it works for me, I. Fascinating. Let me just note that down. That is one mighty notebook. Hey, don't look so surprised. You know how many strange things I see on a daily basis? You'd think after over a century of living with the curse, we'd stop finding new things. Doesn't seem to bother you, though. Phasing in and out of... What? I said that doesn't seem to bother you. Oh, it's great! The curse is one of the greatest mysteries of our age. And you're looking at the girl who's gonna finally solve it. Lofty goals for someone so young. Hey, hey. Judging by your soul aura, I'm a lot older than you. Didn't mean to offend. You've got guts, ship doctor. Speaking of which, how's my checkup? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 you're fine. Don't you have to do more of a check-in? No, all done. I got all I needed when I touched your arm. You're in good health for a corpse. If you ever turn into a skeleton, it'll be a fashion choice. You can go now. Good talk, Afia. Yeah, good talk. Spectrum purple. Permanent wound? Travels through space-time? I. No second thoughts, eh? Remedies for the dead. The verdict is clear. The crow flies. Let fate be our judge. Sharpshooter. A problem requires your attention. Does it now? One of the skellies was found on deck, motionless. Someone is using them for target practice again? No, it's not waking up. You should investigate. Hmm. I'll take care of it. Through the flames! Hmm. The scene of the crime. Let's see what we can find. It's done. Hmm. The victim. Skeleton. Normal build. All bones accounted for and intact. Hey, you! Doesn't react to sensory stimulation. Its soul remains. 
Let's get a better view. A table? No other mugs? Victim drunk alone. I've seen it happen. Broken mug on the floor. Likely the victim's. Hmm. The deck is damp with some of the contents. It didn't finish. Hmm. The salty air and the soul-infused wood of the marley should have cleansed the dampness right away. That was not mere rum. This drink has been tampered with. Current evidence points towards adulterated rum. I'll have to convene with Pete and the Nameless One. They're the ones overseeing the distribution of rum rations. Change in position. Judgment is at hand. I see where this is going. Hey, wait! No. Huh? What? It's the crow! Don't you see her? No, I don't see anything. Wait, no, that's not me. <laughs> She's the blind one. Very entertaining, as usual. Business is going good? Good. Tell her, Pete. How are the numbers looking? Hmm... Most of them are... round. <laughs> Others are a bit squared at the moment. Ugh, oh, I'll make it short for you. We've got poisoned rum on deck. You're the ones responsible for the rum's purity, so I'd advise you to cooperate unless you want to stand trial. A trial? Please, please, no. <laughs> Nothing is longer than a trial. I'll let the Marley know about your... testimony. The future calls. Once more unto the beach. Greetings, ship. What have you found, Crow? Can we cut through the act where you pretend you haven't witnessed all that's happened here? Do you notice every itch and every scratch that irritates your skin? I do. Please, indulge me. The victim drank poisoned rum. Oh, Pete and the Nameless One are involved again. It was a rash call by the captain to make them oversee the rum. Well, it was either them or our well-trusted quartermaster. Sometimes you're stuck between a love and a treacherous stream. I presume you've talked to them already. What did they say? They're concerned with the length of the trial, and the shape of numbers. Just what you expect from them, then. Yeah, maybe you're right. I also took the mug that held the afflicted fluids. I'll have to investigate it more, which will take time. I'll get back to you once I've found something. <laughs> 